All right, you guys, I'm super excited because I just came back from the Final Cut Pro Creative Summit and Apple has just announced Final Cut 10.3. And I'm sure that you're all super excited about this. I know I was. And of course, I instantly installed it. I pulled it up and then I was like, holy crap, where did my buttons go? So, um, Anyway, as soon as I got the layout, like it helped me to feel more comfortable and confident back in the editor. Like I absolutely love Final Cut and this is what I wanted to share with you guys and I hope that this is helpful. Uh, I would love it if you guys could put comments down below or share this with anybody else that you might know that's a Final Cut editor uh, because I don't want this to be a frustrating process for people. It seems like there's been so many people who have given Final Cut such like a, a hard time, if you will. But I think that this 10.3, this new update, is going to make it, I think that we're going to see a big wave of people coming back to Final Cut. So uh, anyway, the title of my presentation this morning is Where Did My Buttons Go? And this isn't my typical video that I do. I actually like to show you uh, inside the editor as I move around, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to do that. Uh, this was just the easiest way for me to show those that have been using Final Cut who haven't upgraded yet I just kind of wanted to show you kind of the old interface and the new interface kind of side by side. Like I said, let me know if you have any questions or comments and feel free to share this. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so this is the whole reason that I'm doing this presentation is because when I first opened this, things looked familiar, but yet some things moved, right? Okay, so first thing is the import button. So my whole goal with this is to just kind of show you this was the, this is the default screen from before, and then I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can kind of see where it was, right? So this is where the import button used to be. And now here it is on the new editor. It's all the way up at the top, left-hand corner. What about the keyword editor? You know, it used to be right here. Now it's up at the top. No, of course, I love it when they give it a facelift, you know? Here's the old, and here's the new keyword editor. All right, so then where did the background task window go, right? It used to be inside the HUD here. You click on that, and then it would open up, right? And so now it's in the top left-hand corner. Again, here's the facelift difference of the new background task window. All right, so where is my music and sound browser, right? Now it used to be over here. You go and click on the music icon. So up here is called the sidebar you know, right next to the library sidebar, you now have photos and audio sidebar. So here's where you're going to find photos. Uh, you can build out sound effect library. This is where you can actually get your music. So again, some terminology has changed a little bit too, right? So it was called the music and sound browser, and now it's called the photos and audio sidebar. All right, so where is the title and generator button, right? It used to be over here. And now it's all the way up here in the titles and generator sidebar. All right, so where is the enhancement options, right? Like some people use these, the magic wand. They're now at the bottom of the playback window. Okay, so now where do I go to do my clip retiming? You know, it used to be down here. And now it's here in the bottom of the playback window. All right, what about the inspector, right? So here's where the inspector button used to be, and now they've moved it up to the top. They've even given it like a, a new look as far as like the actual icon itself. What's interesting too is on the new inspector, we used to have tabs across the top, you know, audio, video, info. Now we just have these three little uh, icons at the top. And what I really like about this is that it's just, it looks so good, you know? All right, where did that share button go? It used to be right here. And now it's up in the top right-hand corner. All right, what about the timeline index? Here it is at the bottom left-hand corner of the Final Cut window. And now here it is on the new 10.3. Timeline index window even got a facelift as well. All right, now what I like to relate to people with the new Final Cut it's like going for a hand towel when you know it's in a certain place and someone has moved it. 
but you're you just naturally continue to go there to grab it, but it's not there. Uh, even at the Creative Summit, it was hilarious to watch uh, some of the presenters uh, go to do something uh, in the old editor, but they're in the new one. So it, it just kind of almost took everyone a second on certain things to try to find where the new button is. So I just thought that was kind of funny. Uh, the timeline history is one of those for me. They used to just be over here on the left-hand side. And now they're in the middle. All right, so where did my project name get moved to? It used to be over here with my little library icon. And now it's in the middle. All right, so where did the clip appearance button go? It used to be in the bottom right hand corner where you could adjust the height, you know, of your clips. This is how it looked before, right? This is where they moved it. They gave it a facelift. I think the new one looks really cool. So what I really like now is this ability to check the box for clip rolls. So you can just see the name of your rolls. Audio meters haven't necessarily moved, but what's cool about this, right, is that it used to just be this thin bar off to the side. They're a lot bigger, and what's cool is you can actually grab and you can change the size of your, of your meters. So just nice, thick bars. It's pretty cool. And again, it doesn't have to take up that whole real estate if you don't want. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. Again, I'm super excited for Final Cut. Love the platform. 10.3 is amazing. Uh, I want you guys to be able to jump into here and know exactly where your buttons went so that you guys can keep the confidence that you had in Final Cut so that we can just get to editing. Because at the end of the day, we just need to be able to jump in there, get our work done, and get on with our day, right? So I'd love to hear comments if you guys love this video or not. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see future 10.3 trainings. Uh, I just absolutely love Final Cut. And I hope that this was helpful for you guys. And again, my name is Brandon with FDPTraining.com. And until next time.